Happy New Year, it is 2022 and there are so many new beauty trends blowing up right now, a lot of which I love and some not so much. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be doing a full face of 2022 beauty trends that I love, but also sharing my thoughts on the ones that I'm not a huge fan of. Now, of course, these are just my opinions. If there's something that I don't like that you do, wear it. Beauty is personal. It's all about feeling good. It doesn't matter what I think and vice versa. If there's something that I love that you don't, don't wear it. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Embody. I have a really cool product that I've been using that I'm gonna show you in a second. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. The first 2022 beauty trend I wanna talk about has to do with foundation. We are seeing a huge move into lighter coverage and dewier or radiant finishes. Now this trend does intimidate me a little bit because I struggle with acne and hyperpigmentation. So I tend to choose foundations that are medium to full coverage because I want to cover those things. But one product from the drugstore that fits the bill and gives me like enough coverage to feel comfortable is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. This actually has a lot more coverage than I expected when I first got it. I'm using the shade Light 3. I'm hoping that this matches me still. And I will be applying this with a brush because that does help to retain as much coverage as possible. Now, especially because this is a huge trend now, one of my goals this year is definitely to get a secure handle on my skincare routine and really prioritize finding and sticking to the products that I know work for me, or at least like the ingredients, you know, just have a better idea of what my skin likes. It's a little hard because of what I do. I feel like I have all the skincare in the world to maintain a clear complexion, but because I'm trying new stuff all the time, it can be hard to get a handle on breakouts. However, this leads us into today's sponsor, which is Embody. I have been taking their retinol gummies. I'm on my second bottle already, and these are awesome. They are perfect for people who don't want to have a super lengthy skincare routine because these take place of a retinol serum. In fact, they say that two gummies a day is the equivalent of four acne treatments. So I've been taking those every morning since the end of November and they are definitely working for me. Not only are they just easy to work into my routine, but they're making my routine with my actual skincare products easier because I don't have to worry about like, where am I layering in my retinol today? Is it a retinol day or a glycolic acid day? Like my actual nighttime routine is more streamlined because I'm taking these every morning and getting my retinol out of the way. The bottle gives you a 30 day supply for $28. So less than a dollar a day and actually really affordable in the world of like beauty gummies. And this is what my skin looked like before I started taking these. And I was actually using a retinol serum, but on and off because I was rotating it within a full collection of products that I was using at night. And obviously, as you saw at the start of this video, my skin, is looking a lot more even. So you can grab a bottle of these or sign up for subscribe and save, which will save you money monthly. I will leave all the info down in the description below, but yeah, I absolutely love those things. Now this shade is slightly warm for me right now. And even though it's a really thin and lightweight formula, with a brush, it blends out super even. So this is definitely the product that I recommend for this 2022 beauty trend. I am quickly going to brighten my under eyes with the Catrice True Skin Concealer. And this will just help a little bit with the under eye bags from all of the holiday festivities. <laughs> All right, let's talk about one of the first trends that I don't really like, the heavy under eye eyeliner. I don't know if this is like leftover PTSD from when I first started wearing makeup, which was like in 2006. And I just had these huge black raccoon eyes and it would smear throughout the day. There is this sort of rocker chic vibe to it. And I think that's the point. It's like lived in makeup, but I don't like how it looks on me and on other people. I just 
just find it to drag down the eyes and face and in general kind of make you look tired. So let me know what you think of this trend. But on the flip side, one eye makeup trend that I really love is a solid eyeshadow color and graphic eyeshadow and liner. So we are definitely seeing a shift away from the multicolor gradient blended out eyeshadow look that has been popular from the beginning of beauty YouTube days. And instead people are making statements with bold eyeshadow in one or maybe two colors in more of a blocky shape on the eyelid. So I'm gonna attempt my own little color block graphic eyeshadow look using these makeup pots from Crazy Beauty. These are a cream formula that can be used as cream eyeshadow, eyeliner, or lipstick apparently. So I'm gonna go in with Sunshine, which is a beautiful yellow gold, and then Morning Glory, which is a navy blue, I think. And this formula is a little bit more moussey than it is creamy, I would say. And I have tested a different shade in the past and it seemed to paint on fine without even using any eye primer. So I'm just going straight in with the gold. And the thing about using a cream formula for this is that you can get a really sharp outline more so than if you were trying to do this with powder. Now, whether or not you make it a graphic eyeshadow look, one shade shadow has really been taking off, which I'm very happy about. I love a good one shade shadow look for just something really quick. I love doing that with golds and bronzes. I'm kind of doing like a little winged shape here and just making sure that it's totally opaque. Love, love, love this gold glitter color. This is like the perfect product for this trend. It's just painting on so beautifully and precisely. And then I'm just using the Luxie 211 brush, which is actually for concealer, but I find it just the right amount of like dense bristles to work with creamy eyeshadow products like this. Love how this gold shape came out, but I wanna do something with the blue to enhance the shape. Oh my gosh, look at that. So beautiful. This is Morning Glory. Ooh, this one is a little more stiff than the gold. What I wanna do is outline this wing. This one's not giving me as much pigment. I'm wondering if it's just because it's like the matte formula or if it might have dried out in the mail to me. Oh, there we go. I think we just gotta layer it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this formula as much as I am the gold one. I think I might wanna switch to a liquid product because I really want this to look sharp. Okay, I couldn't find a liquid, but I found this CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner in Bold Cobalt. And I think the tip might just be precise enough for me to do what I wanna do here. Love that. Okay, now I wanna do something in the inner corner as well to balance out the look. Something like that. You see where I'm going with that? I think that could be fun. I need to clean it up though. I'm gonna also line my lower waterline. Well, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. This is pretty much the same vibe that I'm seeing on Instagram and Pinterest and in these trend reports. And I think that's like the fun part of when these trends come out is that you can really just play and explore different techniques or looks that you wouldn't necessarily try otherwise. All right, I just added lashes to finish this look. It is definitely out of my comfort zone, not something I'd wear on a daily basis, but I am excited to explore more variations on this graphic eyeshadow and eyeliner trend. Another beauty trend that is rising in 2022 that I am not feeling is the tooth gem. I just don't think they look great, especially because they're so small. It's not like, you know, grills from back in the day where they're very obvious if you're wearing them. With the tooth gem, I feel like the first impression is always gonna be, does she have something in her teeth? Oh no, it's a diamond. 
<laughs> it's almost like they don't make enough of a statement to do what they are trying to do. <laughs> but on the flip side, gems in general are becoming popular and I am a fan of a well-placed face gem. I think that this is a really fun throwback to like the bejeweled days of the early 2000s. I will link the pack that I got down below because I actually think that you get some really cool versions. So there's like a gold polka dot, kind of an iridescent, just round jewels. There are also some like corner eye jewels here. Rainbow, there's like a heart situation for Valentine's Day. And then we also have like hearts, diamonds, and stars. Now these are supposed to be self-adhesive. However, you can always reinforce your face gems with a little bit of eyelash glue. Yeah, they have some kind of sticky dot on them. Um, not sure if that would be enough for all day wear, but for the purpose of this video, video, it should work just fine. That is definitely a two hand situation. <laughs> okay, cute. Yeah, I think that just adds a really fun element. Now let me see if I can get the small one on my inner corner because it's hard enough with, this is the largest size. Oh my God, I did it. Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> okay, now I just gotta do the other side. <laughs> you know what I kind of feel like? Um, like a Hunger Games capital citizen. <laughs> the next trend that is popping for 2022, I couldn't exactly fully commit to putting it in the hate category. I think I would say I more love to hate it and that's glitter everything. Now I absolutely love a good glitter moment, especially for the eyes, but in practice, I just feel like glitter is often more trouble than it's worth. It's really hard to Keep where you want it, even with glitter glue, you know, you're always gonna end up with a speck here and there just where it doesn't belong. And it's also really hard to take off. I feel like every time I do my makeup with glitter, I'm finding little glitter particles for like the next week on my person. But you might find me sporting a glittery lip gloss here and there. I will definitely still be doing glitter eyeshadow because it is so beautiful. There is a time and place for it. But mostly I'm gonna be wearing this trend on my nails. This is my New Year's manicure. I am so obsessed with it. I absolutely love chunky glitter on the nails. And usually with glitter nail polishes, those can be really hard to take off as well. But this is gel, it's gonna be drilled off later. So this is definitely how I'll be rocking my glitter for 2022. I will admit though, that I really, really like the face glitter that's in these complexion trios from the latest Wet n Wild uh, Little Twin Stars collection, I think it's called. I did a video all about this where I actually did use the face glitter in this blue color and this is definitely something I could see myself wearing at the next concert I go to or festival what have you so like I said time and place for something a little bit more subtle if you do just want a bit of that glitter sparkle this is the physician's formula mineral wear diamond dust now when I first got this I thought that it was supposed to be a highlighter I'm not sure if that's really what they meant to make but I find it to work a lot better as just like an all-over dusting of a shimmery glitter so this is something that I could like dust onto my collarbone as sort of a body glitter type product. And it's really, really subtle. It's not overwhelmingly sparkly at all. It's just gonna be when you hit the light a certain way, you'll have that little sparkly effect. And even this, I'm comfortable enough to just dust really lightly over the face as sort of a finishing powder. And I can definitely see the glitter on the face, but it doesn't necessarily look out of place. And the last beauty trend that I am loving for 2022 is brown lipstick. Now this makeup throwback moment, I can definitely get on board with. I love darker lip shades. I just think they look very chic. I don't know how much this is gonna match the rest of what we have going on on the face, so we will see. This one I really like wearing. It's Eye Stand from the L'Oreal Signature Rouge Lip Collection. This is kind of like um, a lip stain almost. There's a bit of translucency to it. So even though it is definitely a brown shade, your natural lip color will kind of come through. See, so my natural lip color is almost adding a bit of a more mauve undertone to it, which helps it become a flattering shade across skin tones. So part of me feels like I'm going to a costume party. Obviously all of these trends aren't necessarily meant to be worn together, but in general, I'm still feeling this look because 
It's making me happy, it was fun to create, and that is what it's all about. Which of these 2022 beauty trends do you think you'll be trying this year, and which are you just not a fan of? Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to CityChick000. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next, which is part two of my huge lipstick collection declutter. I'll see you over there. Bye.